Okay, so I've now renamed all my uh, baselines so that they tie in with the appropriate sections and I've also deleted all the intermediate section locations because they're not necessary. What I need to do now is obviously to put these baselines in with the original data so that I can run the river sections as we did before. So to do that, go to the baselines model, make sure everything's selected, which it is, choose copy. I'll go to the uh, the original data model, right click, and if I choose append, it'll get pasted onto the bottom. There you go. If I now go to the camera, we can see baselines in with our original survey data. Start the process again by going to River and Cross. Exactly the same settings as before, but this time I'm going to tick Change Names. So Enforce will know to go looking for the CH in equals dimension and rename the sections. If I press OK, the same baseline locations as before, same names. OK, as you can see, we now have Change 0, 1 of 18. If I press Next, we have Change 50, 90, and so on. So to plot them, it's exactly the same as before. River sections. Okay. So I'll create myself a new CAD model. Okay to that. Plot them. Obviously now I'm selecting the river sections, not the river sections locations, because those will just generate our baseline locations. So selecting river sections, I'm pressing OK, pressing all again. OK. Got the same options as before, so I want to height base it so that I've got an even amount of space below and above, or rather a consistent amount of space. I will just put, go into the defaults though, and under plot, I'm going to say plot the cut line coordinates at the ends only, so that people can tell at a later date exactly where these sections were taken without having to go to a plan. OK that, OK that. Let's draw a box for the sections. Let's have two rows again. OK to that. And hopefully if we zoom in, there we go. We've now got change names underneath our sections. And we've also got our cut line coordinates annotated. And they're ready to be exported to AutoCAD. Final stage is to take the long section. So I'll quickly do that again. sections come down to river long. Okay, we'll select the same data as before, but this time we're going to use the CHN equals dimension. So this allows us to correctly position each of our section locations, allowing for obviously bends in the river which we couldn't do before, as otherwise it would be calculated center to center, lowest point to lowest point, or um, half up between the left bank and right bank points for each of the sections. I'll update the changes for it, press OK, and there we go. Similar looking section as before, obviously being so long we won't obviously see much of a difference. But we can set the colours as we would do normally. Make that brown. Leave that as it was. Have that in white. White bank. In magenta. And water level in blue. Okay. So close that down. River long section and press OK. And then again, obviously, as you saw earlier in the previous example, we can just plot that straight into a CAD as you would any other section. The only other uh, consideration to take into account with uh, river sections is that quite often, especially if you're working for the arrivals agency, they may require um, cross sections perhaps every 50 or 100 meters, but they will probably more than likely also require levels on the left bank and right bank at much, much tighter intervals, maybe two or three meters. So in that situation you obviously can't practically um, record that many cross sections so the way to do it is to actually go along the banks with a, a GPS and then bring those um, strings into the database as you would do normally, bring it into the data set and what you do is you would actually take cross sections like we did before sorry up in our original coordinates here we have them here and what you can do is in N-Force 
you would, you would actually delete all the sections out as I did earlier you leave them in there and then when it comes to actually do the final sections once you've taken your cross sections before you do your long section you go up to sections and you come down to banks the banks tool works by intersecting your theoretical baselines with the survey data i.e. the left bank and the right bank strings so you can take cross sections in Enforce as tight as you like and use the banks tool to actually theoretically intersect them and add that information to the cross sections that you have taken during the original uh, river sections method so that when you actually come to taking the long sections Enforce has more information for the intermediate locations than it does for the general regular say 50 meter or 100 meter change locations. Finally then once you've taken the sections and exported them to CAD they generally also need to be exported in a HECRAS format. That can be done quite easily by selecting your river sections, right clicking them and choosing export. Change your file format to HECRAS and send it out and then you can provide that to the client and they just have to import it. It's a geo file so they import it as a, a geo, GIS database into the HECRAS system and they'll have the sections just as you have them in Enforce. And that concludes the advanced tutorial for river sections.